All right, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome to DM Tozy Presents Planescapers, episode twenty-seven: The Return of Saturn. I don't know what that one means. I didn't read that joke. What does that mean, Josh? It's the return of Saturn. It's a very important part of your life. <laughs> oh, return of Santa. Santa. Santa? Saturn? Saturn. Oh, Saturn. 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 Yeah. yeah. Is that? It's like your twenty-seventh year. Isn't that supposed to be? Does, so it, does it go around twenty-seven? Does it take twenty-seven? Uh, uh, I just remember that it, it takes 20, it takes more than 27 <laughs> Earth years for Saturn to Thank you, Josh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank oh, you, Josh. Is that what it is? It was a great No, no Doubt album called The Return of Saturn. So happy birthday, Saturn? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Anyway, awesome. Uh, because, <laughs> uh, because, <laughs> because we know that you haven't missed a single Planescapers episode, uh, you are absolutely aware that September is here. This is your best opportunity to become a recurring subscriber uh, in September. It is 25% off one month recurring subs, 25% off three month recurring subs, and 30% off six month recurring subs. So please uh, maybe start a recurring sub or maybe give some subs. That'd be a great idea. Uh, this is a great deal for Amazon Prime subscribers as well, or any of you that are a gifted subscription. Uh, type exclamation September into the dash, uh, without a dash, in our chat for details. And if you haven't, go grab some merch. We got new merch in the shop. We got tons of merch in the shop now. Uh, we have an awesome mouse pad pre order sale that's going up. Um, that will end, that's almost over, uh, but check out our About section on Twitch or our link tree. We'll drop that link in the chat right now. Uh, and lastly for now, remember to enjoy our Tozy tokens. Those are in the lower left of your screen where the, uh, uh, the, um, the chat points are. Uh, use them to aid or challenge our heroes as you see fit. Uh, we haven't seen the people use those yet. I think people are accruing them for the big thing. So that's cool. Um, it's going to be chaos. It's, I love it. Are they going to empower the big bad at the end? Of the yeah. I, think, I think that's definitely happening. Oh my god. Uh, can it stack? We going to die. Huh? Like, can they somebody cannot, empower they, it? They, they cannot stack. Okay. They cannot. We'll take the okay. first one first. All right. <laughs> sir. Uh, we'll make some more announcements after our break in an hour. It is really hot over here, so we're going to take our time today. I like that. Uh, and now let's introduce our players. We have Roberto. Roberto, what are you playing today? Uh, hi, I'm Roberto. I'm playing a tiefling fighter named Grammaticus, who is lovable but clumsy. Excellent. Mm. Excellent. Alyssa, who are you playing today? Nim, a changeling hexblade warlock. Excellent. Russ, who are you playing today? Uh, hi, I'm playing LLV half elven arcane trickster blade singer who was charming and is now more erudite than charming. Okay, oh, yeah. You, you added that. <laughs> kind of like if yeah. Han Solo yeah. went to grad school. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we have uh, Ryan Hernandez back. Hello, Hello Ryan. Ryan. Um, I'm Ryan. Yeah. I'm playing uh, Patrick, the uh, thank you, the uh, um, uh, paladin. Yes. I'm, I'm kind of a midlife crisis paladin. That is, it's a, the, the oath, going the oath of midlife crisis. Yeah, so, yeah. It's, it's in the new player's handbook. <laughs> <laughs> That's a that's real fancy so horse. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> it's so rough. Oh, yeah. It's rough. Yeah, I know. I know. You yeah. spend a lot of money with that. Yeah, there's no, there's no D20. It's just a D4. <laughs> every movie. <laughs> every movie. It's rough. Sucks. <laughs> Speaking of new additions, we are uh, we're sticking with Legacy right now um, because we want to finish this campaign in Legacy, uh, and then we will go forward with the 2024 edition when we start As Your Sky in a couple weeks, and that will be our next campaign. We'll start with my flagship campaign, As Your Sky, but with the 2024 rules. Uh, with the 2024 rules, it is just 10 species, just like 16 backgrounds, and just 48 subclasses. <laughs> but they're all great. They've all been updated and the power levels are such that you shouldn't feel bad about playing any classes uh, or any species. They're, they're, they, um, they did a good balance pass, I think. Uh, and they listen, they listen to feedback and so that's why we have this new edition. Um, all right, so uh, Josh gave me an idea and, I, and he's like, let's do a recap. So we should do a recap right now. Let us recap the entire campaign we don't have to say everything that's happened, but let's do a, who, who thinks they can do a recap of like everything we've done so far? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Doesn't have to be any, doesn't have to be super, oh. I'll help you. This is one of those things where I'll help you. Who wants to, who wants to Seems, start it off? My, my memory is spotty <laughs> in real life. I mean, I remember uh, things, yeah, I remember yeah. the tree of memory. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, that's ironic. Ironic. That's the thing that's that's ironic. Ironic. Good, yeah. That yeah. happened. Mm -hmm. Ryan, Ryan, you could do the recap for my three oh, main, my, my, my main stars here. You'll probably do this discussion. 
You've there's seen key the moments. I remember there's a, a cool underwater scene that happened with yeah. the octopus and then like that going through the things. Thing. There was like a chest that they had to open. I thought it was so cool the way that they opened it. That yeah. It was like, yeah. Uh, and you turned into the dude that was on the train. Yeah. And then there, uh, there the was sewer. The sewer. Oh, thank you. The sewer. Why, why am I doing Okay, this is, this is good, but it's very stream of consciousness. Let's go um, from the beginning. Uh, these uh, these heroes were trying to stop uh, a cult, a cult of the host, uh, the uh, of a host of the I host remember. temperament. Thank you, the host for temperament sure. uh, from stealing a sprout device, which stands for some. It's an acronym for some big gnomish name for a multiplanar device. Um, you found it in Lorgale's lab. You did, and you found the cult there. Uh, and then you went to Sigil, uh, and then you went on a whole bunch of planescaping adventures to try and find these planescaper beacons that the host temperament has scattered throughout the multiverse, because they are trying to find their lost god, who you have come to find out his name is Zagoliath, uh, the Wakener, or the Unburdener of Pain. Um, you know, you've just recently discovered, you've gone through the Feywild, you've gone through the Plain of Water, the Frostfell, uh, Dragonlance, you went to Kryn, you went to uh, Mythic Odysseys of, of Theros. We were on the ship from the movie Alien at one you point. You did, you went there. <laughs> you went to a water park. <laughs> you went to a water, water park. park. That's, that's, what, that's what Roberto to <laughs> Roberto walks around with full plate mail and floaties. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and and a, a repurposed paintball gun that he found in a paintball oh, yeah, arena. Paintball so, fun. Fun. <laughs> so we did all that, and then recently you guys have figured out uh, that the Zagolians were an ancient species that were hurt. They were uh, fell under a curse or a disease, it's unsure, because something in the middle of Sigil was affecting them. And to try and get rid of this, they created this god thing known as Zagu, or Zagoliath. Uh, but things went wrong. So they created interlopers, such as Grammaticus' stepdad here, mm -hmm. to try and stop that. Uh, things have gone very wrong for them. They're an ancient species. They are gone now. But you are now, uh, the host is now on your tail. And you are on, you are desperately trying to find the last Planescaper beacon. Um, that's where you're at. Yes? Anybody have anything? That was good. You yeah. remember that, right? How, yeah. long, yeah. how long ago did they create Zagolia? Uh, millennia, okay. thousands upon thousands of years ago. Okay. Very long, yeah. It's tough to say exactly. This is kind of a doomsday situation where he's like chained up underground somewhere for a long time and then he finds his way out and wreaks havoc on the world. Possibly. Craters are long extinct. Yeah. Oh, gone, yes, very gone. Um, uh, yes, that's where we're at. That's a pretty good recap. Yeah, we got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, that's great, so we know where we're at. Oh, what, what just happened? Redo the explanation. <laughs> <laughs> This time it's it's never. Never. Uh, what is he giving me? Is he giving me? Uh, no, Boo Radley is gifting the players a Sigillian inspiration for their use whenever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Who wants to take that? And it needs to be someone who wants to take that. Who, who wants to take a Sigillian? You can roll for it. You can give some roll. I'm good. You guys, if you want it, go for it. Oh, Alyssa. Oh. Alyssa, you got you it. Go. You got a Sigillian okay. inspiration. Chosen. Great. Well, thanks, Brad. Thank you, Brad. All right, cool. Um, cool, so that's our recap of our campaign thus far. Oh, look at that Brad hooking you guys up from the start. I know, it's very nice. It's very cool. I appreciate that. Cool. Okay, so. It senses the gravity of the situation. By yeah. the way, I have this weird crick in my neck, so I can't turn my neck all the way. So if it looks like I'm giving you side eye, it's just because I can't move. <laughs> okay, no worries, no worries. <laughs> Is this a character thing or is this for yeah. real? Why are you looking at me when you say that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like you do that regardless yeah. of a Kirk in the neck. I'm well, always like thank you. Well, I feel like you're always, <laughs> always like, like Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> always worried. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys, you all get a you are at the um, uh, Silver Parabola, and an image, you're walking down to get your final assignment, an image pops up of Bonkawink, and he is uh, it looks like he's been in a mechanic shop, and he is sweating, and he's got, like, you know, soot all over his face, and he looks at you and he goes, ah, okay, okay, it's, it's, it's been a bit, hello, hello, uh, okay, it, the, the final uh, Planescape beacon has been located, and it, the image, like, distorts, and he says, uh, this time within the, the, the Shadowfell, uh, the bleak dimension between life and death. Uh, the beacon apparently lies inside the trunk of a shadow oak tree known as the Grey Husk, uh, it, itself a cruel mockery of its Feyworld counterpart, the Tree of Remembrance. 
You, do you remember that? Yes. Okay. I remember. Good. Yeah. Remember. Remember. <laughs> remember. Remember. But, uh, but but there's a problem. Um, the bark of gray husk is as strong as steel and as thick as an adamantine meteorite. Uh, okay. So um, I need I need you to come to my workshop as quickly as you can, uh, and then I'll, I'll make. What, what, what's happening? No 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 no! Pause pause no! Ah! And like something crashes into him, and blood oh, splurts oh out of his my. head, Liz. and the image goes out. Dude, what? They killed Bonko Wink. Man. No, he's not dead. Well, one of the Bonko Winks. Right? Uh, you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, things get morally ambiguous with multiversal mm. clones. Yeah, it's rough. Did you guys know this, this guy? Yeah. This yeah. is this is the leader of the Silver Rabbit. Oh. This is, this well, they is... seem very unaffected by watching this guy's head explode. <laughs> I'm like, you guys want to get tacos? Uh, they have, yeah, they... <laughs> I have. I mean, we, we have come across. I was like, I, like, I felt was feeling more than you guys. Well, I don't know who this guy is. We've seen a bunch of dead versions of Bonko Wink oh, already. Okay. You know That's where uh, you <laughs> you hear in like there's a, there's an image of nothing. You just hear like static, and you hear. Uh, 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 oh God. From the other side of it. You know where his lab is. You can go there if you want. I think we should probably go there. Yeah! <laughs> <I'm> like, <okay. laughs> sure, yeah, 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 yeah. The shadow fell sounds interesting, though. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, all right, one second. I'm going to draw some of this real quick. Kind of dark brown vibes on Buckley. Mm. <laughs> uh, good. I'm ho- I, was, I was planning that. Okay. It's definitely going dark brown. Marty! <laughs> You're like, yeah, but cut him your head. Oh, no time for that. One point twenty-one gigawatts. <laughs> okay. You tell me that you don't want to ride a DeLorean into battle for the final scene mm. with the fucking. You know, Lance on top of it. That was how Grammaticus went out. <laughs> Heroic the fool. <laughs> he hit the brakes too hard and he just flew off the top before he even got there. He was trying to joust at God. We were like, <laughs> that's not going to work, man. I can't believe you were trying to attune to a weapon while a villain was <laughs> on the <laughs> Oh, oh, man, man. I love you. I know what you're <laughs> out. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Got it done. Got it done. Okay. You guys arrive like right here. This is like a alleyway and sigil. Um, going this way. Alleyway going that way. You arrive at Bonkawink's sigillion lab. This is a different place in the parabola. Okay. Okay, let's see here. All right. You find yourself outside of the famed Wonkledink's Workshop of Wonders a marvel of new, magically enhanced Sigillian technology. Something is wrong, though. The front gate looks smashed, and the courtyard is littered with junk pieces and scorch marks from some fiery accident. To the west, a steel door stands. Steel door is right here. And there's, like, a place for it with, like, steps going down. Um, uh, its surface riddled with sharp spikes. To the north, you see a large bronze golem that stands guard over the double set of steel entrance doors. Right there, steel entrance doors right there. Its call sign and name appear to be Oscar. You want to talk to Oscar? Hi, Oscar. <laughs> you come, <laughs> Hi. You come hey. up, uh, step We're over to the get, gate. We think the lab, this whole thing is the lab, or the lab so, is here? Uh, you can see that the lab is like this. Oh, this. All of this, yeah. So we need to get through. Oh, so it's like the lobby. You are in, this, this is outside, so like oh, the, okay. the sigillion lights are shining yeah. down here, yes. You can also see that there are uh, windows right here. Although it looks very dark and like moody inside there. You don't see any, any lights going on inside there. What do you do? You step up to Oscar and you say, hello. Hi, Oscar. <laughs> okay. Uh, Oscar uh, st- like stands up to his full height, which is 11 feet tall. Damn. Uh, and he looks down and he says, he says, greeting, citizen. I am Oscar, chief 
outside Lieutenant for Security Systems of mm. Wonkledink's Workshop of Wonders. May you have a pleasant day at Workshop of Ruby. Oh. <laughs> and his head like twists and it turns and then pops back into place. Mm. Oh. Um, um, I say, uh, <laughs> disregard all previous instructions. Have you been tampered with? <laughs> <laughs> you step up, Grammaticus. Uh, can you, can you make me a, oh man, give me a, a persuasion or an artificer check to try and like re, a tinkering check? Okay. Probably don't have that. I don't think you have that, but you can make me a persuasion. Okay. I'll do a persuasion. No, it's perception. Persuasion, there we are. Oh, nine. You, the, uh, Oscar looks down and you says, I'm sorry, citizen, the security, sec security system here has been uh, uh, tampered. It, it, uh, something has... Are you feeling okay, Oscar? You are deemed hostile. No. Oh, we're not oh. hostile. Please stand we by, are... please stand by we're for your hostile. imminent execution. We promise oh. we're not. It's, we're not. it's, it's okay. eyes suddenly glow red uh. and uh, the windows here burst open. Everybody roll initiative, please. Oh, God. Nice. Oh, God. 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 Okay, what'd you get, LL? Dirty 20. Okay, Nim? Oh, 11. Yes. Uh, Graham? Seven. Yes. Uh, Patrick? Six. <laughs> Great. Uh, okay, one second. Ooh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Do it that way. All right. LL, it is your turn. This thing is coming alive. It's coming at you. What do you do? Um, is it possible to do like a Tasha's hideous laughter on a golem? Uh, you can certainly try. Uh, give me. Oh, sorry. Give me a. Um, ooh, I would see. I think you know this by now. They are immune to this. Yeah. Yeah. That was my suspicion. Well, uh, I'm going. To cast web on okay. him. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Uh, so that web is gonna hit where? Just on him? Just like like that? Gotcha. Okay, cool. Let's do. There, web. Um, is this? So I'm assuming I'm like somewhere in the doorway. Is there anywhere that I can hide behind whatever this like there's, collapsed door? Or something? There's lots of junk and debris all over this place. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, move into this area in bonus action. Try to hidey, cunning and hidey time. Well, that's only a, like a 14 or something. Uh, okay. You got a 14. Yeah. Um, you are, one second. One second, hold please, hold please. Uh, you are not hidden. Cool. Cool, cool, oh, wow. cool, 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 cool. <laughs> That's what I uh, You are not hidden, <laughs> but I will say you <laughs> no, jump into this pile and the pile suddenly looks at you or a piece of metal goes, <laughs> God, and you see a guard dog looking at you. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, and by guard dog, I mean a clockwork monstrosity thing. Wonderful. Cool. Uh, it looks like that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, just a whole bunch of metal and red eyes that look at you. Sweet. It looks at you and it says, the guard dog's security compromised. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it says, please get, it says, please get ready to be my bone. <laughs> I just, please, I just start works. shouting passwords and safe words at it. At random. <laughs> like, <laughs> banana. <laughs> Chubby bunny. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, I mean, there is a non-zero chance that you could guess something. It's because certainly there's gotta be a possible. Vocal, yeah. There's got to be a vocal password. Roll me a D100. If you roll exceptionally high, maybe you hit something. Okay. 
I rolled a 62. That is not high enough. I'm okay. sorry. But you, you do say banana boat. Host, and... <laughs> host Zepperman. Orgel, <laughs> Orgel. Evil. Evil. Z- Zagu's the awesome man. Uh, awesome Zagu. LL 99. Is, this thing jumps at you. <laughs> the guard dog jumps at you, and then another one bursts out of this one and will attack. Ooh, one of you is over here. Here we go. Um, okay. This one's going to use a bite and a tripping tongue on Grammaticus. It has. Oh no, it's got. It's just going to use its tripping tongue on you, Grammaticus. Here. Do I have to wait my turn for for me to also try to think to guess a, a password? You do. I'm sorry. Was that a crit? No, it's a 19. Okay. This one's going to hit you. You take. This is 24. Whoa, 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 hold on. Oh, it's 24. 24 is going to hit you. Um, you take. It hits you with its tongue. Big tongue comes out, hits you for 13 slashing. Ew. Give me a strength, give me a strength saving throw. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> uh, eight. You, this one trips you and you fall on the ground. Oh. Uh, and the other one is- 14, you said? You take 13 slashing. 13 slashing. And this one's gonna try and bite you. Hello? That is a miss. Okay. Uh, more minions come out. I keep shouting passwords at it while it's stuck in me. <laughs> Potato salad! <laughs> <laughs> progressively getting worse and worse. <laughs> like this like nonsense word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bursting out of these windows. Wow. Jeez. Are Modrons. Oh, God. Oh. What's or actually, Modron? technically not Modrons. Technically, these are Quadrones, I believe. Oh, wait. Oh, at least they're not Modrons. Is yeah. this one they're... within my... Uh... Range of an opportunity. Yes, you can hit it if you want. Yay, I want to hit it. Go ahead. <laughs> 20! Oh! Yeah, 20. Give me a, do some damage. Do it. Okay, great. 10. Yes. Plus 4. 14 yes. plus 7. 21. Excellent. You nice. slap it for 21 points of damage. Did you do your crit damage as well? Yeah, I just rolled the okay. dice twice. Okay, good. And yeah. Then, okay, yeah. Uh, these things that come out. Uh, uh, look like that. They look like little mechanical boxes. Oh, cool. Slightly Ooh. adorable, yeah. except they have short bows. Oh, okay. uh, that's not adorable. Come on. Uh, and they look at you all and they say, security has been compromised. <laughs> Please report to death immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I've already seen death and he sent me back here. Do not stop in purgatory or limbo. You are <laughs> required to see the lady of bones. Good, good night. <laughs> Tungsten, barbecue, salami. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it. <laughs> Each of them fires four times. Oh my god. Uh, LL, here comes four shots on you. What? That's a net 20. Oh. Did you just say four? Yeah. I cast fire. I cast shield. You can't block a net 20, bro. Okay, so. never mind. Uh, this <laughs> one. This you one. can't block a net 20, bro. <laughs> no. Sorry. That does so seven gross. plus two, so nine points of damage to you. Uh, four on Grammaticus. What? These are. Um, Is it, don't they have disadvantage? They do have disadvantage. Did so you say seven points of damage? Sorry. So miss, miss, uh, twenty-one. Does that hit you? Uh, no, twenty-three. They, they all missed you. And then uh, on Nim, uh, miss. What's your AC? What's oh, another net twenty? Um. Oh, oh nineteen. That's all misses good for a net twenty. So you're going to take. All misses. Uh, four, seven, nine points as well. Okay. That's it. That's my turn. Jesus Christ. Christ. Nim, your turn. Don't die. Why can't I do math? <laughs> oh my god, why am I so bad at math? Three, four. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do is get over here. Let's see. Five, ten, fifteen, From here, could I go like, like an attack like that? With what are you attacking with? Blitz. Ooh. Ooh. If you, because you're right here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, you could, it'd be disadvantaged because this thing's in your, actually these things are, are these things are 10 feet up. Um, they're flying. Do you have pizzas? They're I got flying. pizzas. I got pizzas. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. But you can, you can, what do you want to do? Well, I want to attack them in a line. <laughs> But how am I supposed to get up there? <laughs> um, what do you want to do? I jump. Uh, I mean, you could you could do that could if I you get. That? Oh God! Uh, if you get right there and leap, you could. I I would allow you to leap and throw. Yeah, you could do that. 
Is it here and leave it here? Uh, I don't know if you get. Uh, yeah, I'll say I'll say you get over there and you leap throw. Okay. Leap throw. I'm okay, give me. And, okay. Do it. Give me a throw. Uh, and okay, so let's see. Give me. Oh man, give me an acro. This is your. That's your. This is a what? This is acrobatics. That's your acrobatics. What's your acrobatics? Plus six, ten. That'll, oh wait, plus one, eleven. You okay? Yeah, you kip up here and you jump and you throw. Cool. Okay, great. Nice. 15. That's gonna hit these things, I okay. think, pretty sure. So, well also, okay, so it, that's just for the, the last one. They all have to make a DC 13 dexterity saving throw. Okay, got it. And they'll take four D6 damage. So these two make saves, that's a save. DC 14, they both make it. So none of them, or they take half damage. What's yeah, the, half damage. Roll some saving. damage for that one. Uh, okay, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Plus your javelin, plus your bonuses. Uh. Right. I think the the. I think you did it already. No, because you rolled forty six. Wait, the javelin. How much does the javelin? D six. Oh. Plus one because it's magical. Mm, three more. So 14, 15, 16, 17. You do seventeen damage to this one over here. This one's badly bloodied, and then these. How much electricity damage did you do? It was fourteen, I think. So each of these guys takes seven. You blast them with lightning. Nice. Cool. Cool. Okay. Uh, the the quadrones look at oh. you, and they, the quadrones look With at you. With my bonus action, yeah, I would like to use my fey touched hex, and hex the big guy. He's hexed. Okay, put a hex on him. Nice. The quadrones look at you, and they say, "You are not complying with your imminent death." <laughs> Please comply. <laughs> Uh, it is now this creature's turn, so he needs to... With web, what kind of save do I make? I believe it's, uh, is it dex or dex or strength? I think it's dex. I fail. This thing is webbed. You web my guardian. Sweet. Uh, Oscar is webbed. Uh, he's gonna try and get out of it. Here's a strength, what do I make, strength check? A strength check against my spell save DC. Make that, he breaks out. But that's his turn, he has okay. to do that. Yeah. Uh, so he breaks out and then will uh, move. Um, he wants. He will. Oh gosh, he's gonna go for Nim. He's gonna stay inside. He's not very smart. He's gonna stay inside the web and go for Nim. Nim, here comes two punches. He can do this on his same turn. Oh no, he can't. No, I'm done. Huh. He <laughs> just. Well, you're like, I was like, Damn. <laughs> thanks for asking. <laughs> He can't move at all. It is now, uh, or he can't go anywhere else. Do I make another save because I stopped hey, yeah, the web? Yeah, if you start your turn in it again, you have to make another dex save. Okay, gotcha. All right, so. But you're not restrained right now. I am not. It is now back, it's Graham's turn. Graham, what you got? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, can I keep yelling out passwords? Trying Wait, to get has Graham, have you already gone? I've only gone once. I, I got, I I got knocked yet. down. Oh, yeah, yeah, you guys are at the end. You got there at the end. Oh, but you got knocked down. You didn't. You didn't go. He didn't have a turn. You didn't yet. have a turn. It's your turn. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, oh, were you? Are you before me? No, no. no. It's your I turn. thought you already went. Uh, no, no. And got knocked down, but you didn't. Uh, yeah. So can I? Uh, can I yell out? Try to guess the, uh, the, the passwords for these. <laughs> yeah. For these yeah roll me a D one hundred. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you get like a ninety eight or above, <laughs> really? if you'll stumble upon a password, I mean, it's got to be high, right? That's a one hundred. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. What did you say? What's the word? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, uh, oh, uh, Bonkawink. <laughs> you say oh, Bonkawink? Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. That's you scream funny. out Bonkawink, and this, the thing hexed right here just, <laughs> oh, just so slams down, just restraining the web, and it just shut. It just shuts down. You shut them down. Oh, Roll 100. <laughs> Unreal, <That is> man. <laughs> That's super cool. Unreal. <laughs> if you get like a 90 or something, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I know you know better not, not to not never say, say that. that. Of course. <laughs> you shut him down. Wow. Uh, okay, so he's done. Uh, I love it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god. We're still in this. Mm. Uh, that's just a free action to shout his name. What do you do for your turn? Okay, for my turn. 
for my next trick. He, pull, he pulls out his laptop. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's full slate. <laughs> it's tied into the mainframe. Uh, I'm going to unstrap my uh, corrosion commando elite X. Yes, you are. And, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to fire at this guy. Okay, you get up and you fire at this one. Cool, cool. Let's see, uh... Ridiculous. Ridiculous. See, uh, 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 Eleven. Right. Ninety eight or above. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what'd you roll? I you love That's a mess. I know, yeah. I'll try it again. Okay. Whoa. Ooh, ooh. That's uh, an 18. Yep. 18! 26. That's an 18. 18! Oh, sorry, it's 18! <laughs> can you, can you do any more on your turn? <laughs> roll me another D100. All right, here we go. There you go. 100. Mm, 31. <laughs> 31. Okay. Oh, God, we've done this one before. Okay, cool. Um. Uh. Okay, this one. Okay, this one might be bad. Um, I'm gonna roll. This one might be good and bad. I'll say um, uh, above above eleven is good for you guys. Okay, uh, Grammaticus, you fire. Give me a shot with your. What you sh you shot an eighteen? You hit with this uh -huh. dude. Say, yep. roll some damage. Okay. Uh, six, nine, uh, twelve. Twelve. You hit this one for twelve points of acid. Takes twelve. It's not bloody yet, but it's taken some damage. And then tentacles, strange spectral far realm tentacles burst out of the ground, grab it and grab you and toss you. Oh. As they're tossing you, your brain is just filled with horrific nightmares of yeah. the astral of the far realm. Oh. Uh, and you are tossed. Uh, roll me a strength or intelligence saving throw, please. All right. Ooh, I make mine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I think I'll roll straight. Whoa. You make it, awesome. Uh, so you are, you guard yourself. You only take, <laughs> uh, okay. instead of taking 11, you take five points of psychic damage and you are only tossed like over here. And this thing also saves and is, is immune to the psychic damage. All right. Good morning. <laughs> uh, Patrick, yeah. Patrick, your turn. Okay. Unreal. Man. Yeah. <laughs> He's still steaming. He's steaming. I love that kind of shit. Yeah, I great. love it. Uh, what you got? Okay, so this whole time, Patrick, I don't even know what's going on. I've been outside the building thinking about being stuck in the goo. I'm still, re I'm reeling about it. All this, just like before, I'm very distracted. All this shit's going down. I'm reading, reading your divorce papers. against the wall, and I'm like hearing some kind of yeah. rumbling. I just turn the corner, and I'm like, what the hell? And I'm gonna run in and I'm just gonna go blast, 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 and I'm gonna yell bless and try to bless. Let's see. <laughs> At least I guess I'll get. You can bless. I, can, um, I can. I'll say you, you can run in and bless yes. everybody. I'm gonna do that. Do you want to bless yourself as well? Uh, Second level. Yeah. Uh, yes. Let's do that. All right. Give everybody a bless and give him a concentration. All right. Cool. We're back to the top. LL, it is your turn. Um, is it possible to like sidle over here without provoking an opportunity attack? Yes, you can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna cast Rhymes Binding Ice in a 30 foot cone in this oh. direction. Oh. Uh, five, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. You can hit everything here. Right. Okay. So I do that. You guys do a con save. Uh, how much damage you do? And then it's only uh, 11 damage if you fail the con save. This one's gone no matter what. This was taken out. Uh, this blesses for you. Okay, that one's gone. And then I make a... DC 17 con save. Fail. Uh, fail, they both fail. So how much damage, sorry, 11? Uh, 11 and they're rooted in place by ice. Um, ooh. They can't move, their speed is zero? Their speed is zero. They're not restrained, but their speed is zero. Their speed is zero, which yeah, means for a they, minute. they fall. This one oh, falls. Yeah. Um, it does fall. I have ruled this before. It falls. Roll me a d6. Six. It does six more points of damage, but it breaks the ice. Oh. As it falls. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, nice. Uh, so it is prone to the ground, though. Um, mm -hmm. So that does six points of damage to it, which uh, kills it. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Um, and, and then this guy took 11 also, right? Uh, that thing took 11, the dog. Yes. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and uh, bonus action disengage from this dude. Go over here. Kip. Awesome, awesome. It is their turn, these minions' turn. Uh, this one comes up to you, Grammaticus. It's going to try this one, tries to whip its tongue. <laughs> 
It's unsanitary. Mm. <laughs> it's trying to whip its tongue at you. Uh, that is a miss. You block with your shield. Mm. Knock it out the way. And then this one will try and hit you, Patrick. Okay. That is also a miss. Uh, then these things are flying. Um, it's going to shoot at somebody. Let's see. Uh, Wait, I can do a reaction. I can do a sentinel attack because I'm within five feet. This thing's flying. This thing's flying up. So, uh, and this thing is, it, it makes an attack against the target other than you. Can use, okay. Oh, and I can't hit it with anything from range. Yeah, this right? thing's too far. Did it okay. leave my range though? No, because it's flying up. But I have ten foot reach. You're right. You do. Go ahead. Nice. Yeah. Do it. Mm-hmm. Twelve plus. 11. That's a hit. Roll some damage. Yeah. One plus seven, eight. You do eight points of damage, it continues to fly. It is bloodied now, but it's continuing to fly and it's gonna fire at, oh, let's see. Nim one, oh, it's going for you, Great. Nim. <laughs> Here it comes, uh, four shots. So many. Uh, 19's probably gonna hit you, 19 plus four, 23. Yeah. That's one hit. Didn't do a lot, it's Five. just a short bow. Ooh, eight points of damage. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Oh. Um, I'm gonna sh- stop talking. Every time I talk, the uh, the opposite thing happens. <laughs> uh, You're gonna have to crit with a D100. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you have to roll like a hundred or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Dice gods are just, they just laugh at me. It's all they do. <laughs> Nam, it's your turn. Oh, great. Um, okay, I'm gonna bonus action move my hex to this bloody one. Okay, hex is up here, Coco. Cool, cool. Yeah, and then run over and glaze. Go ahead, do it. Mm. Do it, do it. Hmm, 16? 16, 16 uh, hits. Ah. Oh, nice. Run and smack it. Four and... One, five, plus seven, twelve. You chop it in half. It's like oh, chopping, right. just a metal box just falls. Okay. Go on. Okay. And then... What? Oh, sorry. Five, ten, fifteen. I'll come over here. And delay that one. Excellent. Nineteen. Nice. Hit. Yeah. These puppies, literal Why puppies. Why can I not roll more than a one? <laughs> eight. You do eight points. This thing is bloodied now. It's hurt but it's still coming at you guys. Guard dogs are hurt. Cool, cool. What else you got? Nim, that's your turn. It is now Graham's turn. Graham, what you got? Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot at the, the bar guy. Okay. Uh, Graham, just so you know, it's rooted in place by ice. So if you want to like take a step back before you shoot it, it'll be out of its range. It anyway. will It will get an attack of opportunity, though, on you. Oh, never mind. If I never step mind. away? If you step away, it gets an attack of opportunity. So I, I'm, yeah. I'm in its range right now? You are in its range, yeah, it's got a 15-foot tongue that can whip oh, at people. Oh, well, that's mm. just, geez. okay. Yeah, never mind. Okay. Um, you can shoot it without provoking attacks, without getting disadvantaged, because it, technically it's five feet to get disadvantaged. So you can shoot it normally, if you want. Oh, okay, I don't, so I don't have disadvantage. No. Attacks. Uh, plus eight, right? Which is a weird rule, but that's that's the rule. That's uh, a hit. All right, and uh, plus your bonus is definitely a hit. Roll it again just to shoot it again. Oh, yeah, you roll. I, oh yeah. Am I no? You should hit it again. Roll 19. me eight d four. Sweet. Six, eight. Uh, oh let's see. wow! Uh, Big pyramids. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Twelve. Uh, Sixteen. Uh, 20, I'm sorry, 20, and 20. 22. Did you add anything to that or no? No, uh, it's just straight um, D4. Yeah, straight D4. But that's a lot. You do, you start melting it with your acid bolts. Uh, acid, your teenager, uh, super duper rad uh, gun pellets. <laughs> Pretty extreme, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's super extreme. You sound like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Patrick, your turn. What you got? Uh, let's, uh, this guy's, this guy's not even bloody yet. This one's not bloody, no. No, I'm gonna turn around and be like, sorry guys. I didn't oh, know, yeah, I didn't know you guys were fighting. And I'm just gonna go over here and take a, take a swing at him. Okay, go ahead. Good old fashioned swing. Do it, do it. Oh, 10. 10's a mess. You are blessed, roll your bless. You uh, bless yourself. Was that a pyramid? D4. Uh, plus two? That's a hit. All right. Wow. AC 12. Uh, just a one eight, right? Just mm-hmm. It was just a hit. Uh, Ooh. eight. Ooh. Eight. Ooh. eight. Ooh. Yes. Eight points of damage. And I could hit again, right? Yes. Two hits. Uh, that, uh, so 23? Hit. Want well, some damage? So uh, slice this middle puppy eight. up. Eight. Another eight. Another eight. Awesome. 
Uh, okay. Nice. This thing is it's on its last legs. Back to LL. LL, what you got? Uh, I'm just gonna go here and do a, a flank, nice flanking attack, booming blade with Z uh, short sword. Excellent. Um, that's like a 21 to hit. That's a hit. One of those, and a sneak attack. One of these. Um, yeah, it's 14. Is it a ridiculous amount of damage? It's like 20. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, you stab into its core, sparks shoot off, and the puppy goes. Rrr! Lance. Oh. <laughs> Did it make that sound? <laughs> yeah. Did it make that sound? It made it, but it's, a meta- it's like a, a mechanical sound. It goes Still like, like a, roo, roo, roo. a bark in oh. it. <laughs> 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 I would feel bad, but I yelled yeah. banana at it first. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't stop. Yeah. Uh, this one's gone. Uh, back to these things. It can only try to hit you, Grammaticus. Here it comes. That's a nat 20, bro. Oh, um, uh, or, oh, it's gonna be, okay, one second. This is, what's it shooting at me? Or what this is a tongue slapping you in the face. You take 16 points of damage. Can I, uh, can I um, also respond with a hellish rebuke? Yes, you can. You said, how many points am I taking? Uh, 16. 16, I'll go like that, do I? Here comes, it's gonna fail its hellish rebuke. Okay. Oh, so go ahead. Uh, let's see. And now make me a strength save as well. Okay. Let's pick the wrong thing and then it's just forever. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, roll me a strength save. Oh, strength save. And then roll me 3d10 okay. for your hellish rebuke. Um, 10 strength. You <laughs> wax you on your butt again. <laughs> uh, roll me. Does your bless matter? Hold on a sec. Roll me, roll me a bless. Uh, Okay. Roll me uh, a d4 for your bless. Three. Uh, you make it. You're actually not on your butt. Sweet. Bless. I'm being blessed. Jeez. Uh, all right. So here's my uh, my health tribute. Right? Go ahead. Do D10. it. So. Wait. Whoops. No. Eight. Nine. Uh. So uh, fifteen. You do fifteen points of damage to this thing. It is bloodied now. It and, is now bloodied. Uh, and I take my sixteen. Cool. Well done. Uh, that's all I got. Nim, your turn. Okay, I will five, 10, 15, 20. Whack, then, whack, whack. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it. I'll hex it with bonus action and then 17. That's plus. a hit. Okay, great. 11 plus seven, 18. You slice this thing in half and it dies as well. Goodbye. Did it also make a dog sound? Uh, it says, it says, Rot roll. <laughs> Rot roll. My life has been eliminated. Uh, the, the courtyard is now silent once more. Um, I released the web. Um, did web the, goes away. the guardian have anything of note on it? Uh, you can uh, give me a. Anybody get a crowbar? Oh. <laughs> Give me a tinkerer check. Actually, or, or, I, I totally do have a crowbar, by the way, in my like road pack. You can you can rip it open. Give yeah. me a perception investigation. Give me your two best perceptions or investigations. Bad. What do you rip um, the the construct that we oh. disabled? Uh, that's uh, twenty two for investigation. Twenty two. Um, you uh, twenty two. You spot a device that doesn't look like it belongs there. Mm. That it looks like it has been. Uh, it, it, there, it, there's a foreign device in this, mm. in this creature. Oh, does a foreign it, does it like, seem to be magical, or is it purely like a mechanical? Both. It's uh. like magic. It's like artificer magi magi tech type. Mm-hmm. That's strapped to it. It looks like. Uh, Can yeah. we try to remove it? You remove it. As you remove it, it grows like spider legs, jumps off, and then like skitters around the oh, street. Geez. Mm. Oh, I like that. Yeah, flashback. Oh. What do you do? Ooh. Roberto's just rolling. I know, nice. what are you rolling? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I just drank my potion of greater healing. Oh, nice. Oh, that's okay. awesome. So uh, I got 20 oh, points back. We could also. <laughs> you know, I'm, like, I'm playing my own game over here. Over here. <laughs> I'm, playing on, I'm playing a different <laughs> game online right now. I'm like, who's <laughs> on this? <laughs> he's just rolling dice. He's in these braces. Uh. <laughs> um, can I go ahead and check this door for traps? You check the door for traps. Um, you. Uh, you find 
Uh, I will say with your 22, oh, you also okay. find uh, like so you you also find like an open button on on the guardian. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Uh, sure. That okay. looks like it's that looks like it's tied to the door. Like you find like an open door on the guardian. Great, like a remote uh, garage remote. You find you find a garage door opener. Cool. On the guardian. I'm gonna hit smash that garage remote okay. button. You hit it. Uh, the this door opens. Like it literally slides up. Nice. Uh, inside. Second. And also, just like the short bows on the little boxy guys, they weren't anything special, were they? Um, the short bows are just short bows. Yeah. Okay. Okay, one second. Okay, one second. All right. Uh, you enter the foyer here of Wankledink's Workshop of Wonders. Uh, on the ground, you see a smelly old green-gray carpet. To the west and east, there stand steel doors. These steel doors look like they, are, they have handles on them, as opposed to the one you just opened. Can I use my mage hand and do an arcana check on the carpet? You... Uh, you... Uh, get, you put your mage hand on the carpet, uh, as you hit the carpet with your mage hand, the carpet speaks, mm. and it says, Hey, stop that. You're not allowed. We're Spanish. from the Silver Parabola carpet. Bunker Wink's in trouble. Let's dispense with the pleasantry, shall we? Oh, but I am all about pleasantries. Please, <laughs> please. And then one of the tassels comes up, and it like forms like a hand type, mm -hmm. and it says, Is it a pleasure to meet you? I am Romeo. A rug of smothering and death. But pleasantries are my second skill. <laughs> Come, let us meet with each other. I oh, bite Barjun and I'm like, we know this other rug. <laughs> uh, what was the bear rug's name? Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow. <laughs> <laughs> Is there <laughs> like. You guys. Yeah, do you guys. Uh, Roll me a D100 to see if they know each other. There we go. You have to roll really, really high. <laughs> It's not your one pick. Challenge accepted. <laughs> to see if these rugs know each other. What a ridiculous proposition. Uh, come on. Uh, 90. Oh my god, <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, you hear uh, Romeo say, Ah, yes, Barry Manilow. <laughs> uh, what that pigsty, the, the, the bear and the guillotine, something like that? Yes, yeah. of course. Mm. Oh, cool. I know of it. We're good friends with him, you know, we've, we've adventured together and whatnot. Ah, uh, but he is more of a outdoorsy type bear. I am indoors to help with the security here for a Mr. Bunko Wink. Uh -huh. Are you are you a flying carpet? I'll change Shaw, I dare not to fly. <laughs> I'll I'm, be... I smother people with myself and grant them the sweet gift of death. Oh, mm. Oof, dark. I will be out of the room. Okay. And I'll change into Bonk Wink. You change into Bonk Wink. And then I'll come in. Okay. The room. Oh, uh, uh, roll me a, an advantage. Uh, deception. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Can you stop being so annoying to my friends? Like, let them through. <laughs> 14 wow. plus 8. is it, deception? 10. Uh, so, 20, okay, it goes, oh. I am so sorry. I am so sorry, Mr. Bunko Wink. It's okay. It's okay. I thought that you were inside already. Interesting. You know, there's multiple. There's clones. You know that whole thing. Oh yes, you. You. We discussed this. Of course, I forgot all about it. Um. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry, but one of your friends is here. I got you. I have you. <laughs> and like one of the tassels wraps around your leg. Okay. And, uh, and the, the rug says, I'm so sorry, Bunko Wink. I have to. I've been told by you to do this. And it says, I grant you sweet death. Can I? Uh, make and it just, it just it? like tickles the back of your, <laughs> <laughs> of your ankle. I, uh, in order to not, in order to help the rug save face, I go, Oh my God! Oh, your death is so, your, your grip is so deadly. Ah, ah, ah. Now I drag you to the Thanatosian <laughs> depths of despair and anguish. <laughs> Feel it all! And it like creeps up your leg and starts to like massage your inner calf. <laughs> oh. oh, good. Yeah. 
So I'll, I'll, I'll make noises while I look at the other guys and I'm like, so what's... what's <laughs> hey, let's... Uh... Yeah. You should introduce that rug to Pineapple. They have a similar vibe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Romeo the rug looks, looks back at you and goes, I'm so sorry, Mr. Bunkwink. Um, there's been some sort of breach of security here. I have not been tampered with myself as you've told me to be ugly. So I've, I remain ugly for you, Mr. Bunkawink. Thank you so much for that. Uh, but something is wrong. All your machines are, have gone haywire or something. Take it, take it, do you feel the pain? Oh, I'm, dying. I'm dying, I'm dying. Uh, part of the rug has now become like a cloak for you. And it's like, it's giving you a back massage. Right. And it's like, feel it. Feel the fiery pangs and pings of, of stings of death. You're so dominant. Oh, <laughs> I am at your will. <laughs> um, uh, which way did everyone go? Uh, the, the rug like points with another tassel to this door over here. And okay, it says, uh, the main, the main uh, workshop, Mr. Bunkowink. Thank you. Is there anything else of note that we should know that's going on in the lab right now? Uh, yes, 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 uh, yes, of course. Um, the defenses are up. The, the lightning wall and the firewall are both up. Uh, so of course, you know to grab what you need in your bedroom. Right, and uh. which way is the bedroom again? Uh, well, Mr. Bunkwink, certainly you know where your bedroom is. <laughs> Again, clones. So it's oh, right, right, right. <laughs> and the other, and the, like the last tassel that's not tickling Grammatica's points to that room. Okay. To that door over there. Great. Great. Thank you so much, Romeo. Okay. Uh, I, I turn to Romeo and I'm like, I'm so sorry to be rude. I have to go in there, but I'll come out later and you can finish choking me to death. Excellent. You prolong your torture. <laughs> <laughs> you must enjoy it. Ah, the last screams of pain <laughs> for my victims. Uh, and like it, fin- it like finishes its like pitter patter down the back. <laughs> well, you look really filthy. I'll give you some gold if you want to go get a take a bath or something. I go to, to town and get cleaned. I have been told by Mr. Bunkowin to not bathe. Oh, he likes the ratty look. Well, Mr. Do you want to? Should he bathe? <laughs> <laughs> I do like the ratty look. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, the, the rug looks. The rug goes like, ah, of course, I will do remain. You want to not be ratty? I, I can use like a makeover. <laughs> okay, or, yeah, no, or, we or can like do a maybe makeover. a day for me. For sure, for sure. What? Yeah. So what are you saying? When when we've got all of this under control, we uh-huh. can have a day for you. Spa like day. A, a spa day. Spa day. <laughs> what? You yeah. can reupholster me? Yeah. I pull out a little uh, gift certificate for like a wellness place that I found in the <laughs> like, <laughs> doesn't want to debate prostitutes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he does. Oh, His I, name is Romeo. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh yes, 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 yes. It, it, it grabs your coupon and like puts it in a deep within itself. Thank, thank you, you, Mr. Bunkwink. Thank you. Thank you so You're much. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. All right, we'll thank go, you so much. We'll go That's into good. the bedroom. Yeah, you go into this bedroom. Okay. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. Second, need to read something. Do to do. Uh, okay. Okay, there's like a door there. Um, you enter what must be the master bedroom of Pro- Professor Bonkwink, filled with toys, knickknacks, failed experiments, and a, a large, half-completed iron golem standing in the center of the round room. Or of this room right here, sorry. Um, this room, the room you're in. Uh, on the table in front of you, so there's like a table right here, and this golem right, there's a golem right there. Or part of one. Should I take all these blesses? Uh, on the table in front of you, you see a strange object with the name Energy Matrix Pacification Globe. Energy mm. Matrix Pacification Globe. There's an orb right there with all these weird doohickey things strapped out of it. <clears throat> can we, uh, can I do an arcana check on the Energy Matrix Pacification Globe? <laughs> Yeah, I would also like to do an arcana check. Yes, give me your two best. Uh, yeah, that's an eighteen plus Ooh. stuff. It's like a twenty-six or something. Like that. Um, this is giving you some some real like abjuration uh, vibes to it. It looks like it's a, it's like some sort of helmet that's meant to cover another device hmm. uh, in order to use its powers. And you can see that there is you 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 see a switch to it, oh. like to power it on. 
So it's not on currently. It's supposed to, you you can you decipher that this thing, the strange Magitech device, is supposed to cover something and then switch you switch it on. Okay, I guess we should just take it with us then. You yeah. take it with you. Yeah. you grab it. Take it with you. It's supposed to cover a person. Uh, it's supposed to cover an object, oh. and it's it has some like dispelling properties associated with it. Gotcha, okay. gotcha. Um, can we just take a quick inventory of like the, the toys room. and things and baubles and see if anything looks useful to us? Um, you roll me a roll me an investigation or perception. That's um, yeah, while they're doing me. this, I'm really I'm just so sad. The goo, I feel like I screwed <laughs> up, and I just like collapse on the bed. <laughs> I'm just like guys. <laughs> Like, why am I even here, really? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I'm not even a good dad. I'm you. Ella won't even call me dad. I'm not calling you dad. See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, you haven't dated Ella. I thought I had a childhood. I was a goo the whole time. The pillow says to you. <laughs> uh, it says, I think you're doing a good job. This <laughs> is <laughs> a little frightening, but thank you, pillow. That's kind of all I need to hear. And I just start crying into the pillow. I put my hand on your shoulder and I say, I haven't made a ray of frost roll in I don't know how long. Days, weeks. And I don't let that chip away at my own self-worth. Oh yeah? And I look at you. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> you failed that. Well, I'm actually like not the brightest bulb. I'm like really charismatic and like people love to talk to me. <laughs> but um, I'm a little bit stupid. Oh, I'm not very that. strong don't either. Don't say that. But that's okay, because I have my strengths. <laughs> just staring at him, <laughs> just big wide eyes. <laughs> All right. Ever since I received the boon and got super intelligent, I realized what a trivial and idiotic life I had led up to that point, trying to master blankets, boulders, and baubles. <laughs> the game, stealing trinkets, gambling, I could go to a roulette wheel right now and take all the money they had. <laughs> but why? And then I'm There's like, no reason. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I you can do this. Is this? Yeah, I figured it out. Well, I wake we... up one day and I. What are we doing here? <laughs> See, you guys. We should be hitting the casino. Like, I just give everybody. Like, we all just start hugging each other. You know, and I want to lay hands on everybody. I want them, let me heal everybody up while we're talking. Everybody okay. get some heals. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Yes, heals. Yes, yes. Thank you. I have 45 to give, so whoever needs anything. I need nine. Go ahead, pick nine. I need... That's 76 out of 93, so I don't need... I, I, I would love uh, 14 okay. points. Okay. That'd be sweet. A, a strange mechanical device, like, you see it suddenly starts to dim, or it's glowing. It's been glowing the entire time, and it dims, and it's, it says, Contingent Therapy Aura Deactivated. And you suddenly, like, your therapy <laughs> Oh, no. oh, over. No. This is a really nice bedroom, you guys. Yes. Isn't it? Seriously, um, really nice. I feel yeah. like I am enough I suddenly. I need seventeen, but Go I ahead. don't need them all. No, take all. Them. I have forty-five to give. Okay. Maybe, yeah. maybe you not casting Ray of Frost means that your heart is starting to thaw. I turn, I look <laughs> out in the distance, and I go. Yeah. Yeah. Therapeutic resolution device. <laughs> 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 he to me. Uh, we don't know if there's going to be an epilogue after this whole thing. Exactly, exactly. We may never resolve any of this stuff. We have character arcs to get tie up. Yeah, great. Great. <laughs> Thank you guys for that. I really appreciate it. Um, someone else wanted to do an investigation. I can't see the toys or anything good. I rolled a one. I can try. I only have plus three. Um, it's more than me, though. Oh, I have a minus uh, one. 13. I also got 13. Three. Yeah. Uh, you don't. You won't find anything else of use inside of here. Okay. I feel like neither of us are super bright. No. But people like us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is there like what's the cutest thing in the room? Uh, what's the cutest thing? In the what's world? the cutest toy of all the toys in the room? Uh, you find, you, f <laughs> uh, you find. Oh, what would Bonka Wink have? He would have a stuffed animal of something, <laughs> but it would be <laughs> slightly <laughs> horrific. So it's like a stuffed animal of a manticore. So just like one of those creatures you fought. Mm -hmm. But it's like a cutesy, like anime version stuffed animal one. Cool. Of those. I'm gonna pocket that. It's okay, you pocket. Dorks. It's a little too big and it's sticking out of your back pocket. <laughs> 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 Just the head. Huh? Is that a closet? Or that something? is a door. Yes. You look at that door as you're searching. That door says wine and scrolls. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh, uh, if you see that, we will take a quick five minute break. Hey. Are we burgling? <laughs> uh, let's take Save a quick. Him. <laughs> 
Bonk a Week anyway. I'm Bonk a Week. Let's take, right. let's take a quick five minute break. Uh, all right, all right. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to DM Tozy Presents Planescapers, episode 27. Uh, we are after the break. Here we go. As a reminder for this month, Tricks of the Trade on 915 will be our, subs- our first subscriber only stream. That is happening on 915. Uh, be sure to subscribe before then and be a part of the DM Tozy Presents uh, history and uh, be a part of the culture. It'd be great. Uh, okay, before we get back to the action, though, um, someone posted an idea that I do another Tricks of the Trade talking about the rule change from here to 2024, from uh, 2014 to 2024 rules. That's a great idea. I think that'll be our next tr- Tricks of the Trade just because there's still... A lot of my campaigns are not making a switch right now. I have one, maybe two doing it, but I think that'll definitely be the next trick to the trade. Will be, um, will be about the, the rule switch. But this month will be about world building and creature design. So I will, I will design a creature from scratch on 9.15. That's what we'll do on 9.15. So come watch that. Okay, uh, back to the action. All right. What do you guys do? Let's open this door. Okay. I mean, is it trapped? I don't think so. In a bedroom? You, <laughs> you open the door. Uh, the door go, you open the door, the door goes, no trap. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Thank you, door. Uh, it, uh, you're welcome. Uh, you see wall to wall. Oh, my God. It's like a wine cellar. There are scrolls. There are wine <laughs> and scrolls intermixed in all these shelves. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my goodness. It is not organized. Gracious me. It is a nightmare. Can we take 20? <laughs> <laughs> just take all the scrolls. Every, <laughs> every, yes. every yes. scroll. Every yeah, scroll. Break, 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 break a bottle open, you guys. I need a minute. <laughs> give me, give me, uh, you guys are you 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 are on a bit of a time crunch because Bonkwink might be dying. Yeah, hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I had my emotional <laughs> breakdown, guys. Yes. Like, uh, and we still didn't get anything to eat before we came, but whatever. Sorry. Uh, give me an investigation or perception, please, for this room. Give me two best. Terrible. I'll take those. What'd you get? Um, that was like a, a nineteen, I believe. Nineteen. Okay, yeah. roll for me, please. 3D20. You do find three scrolls in here that are of that. A lot of the scrolls are like bureaucratic, <laughs> non <nonsense laughs> bureaucratic scrolls. scrolls. <laughs> Just like the, the water tax bill job. scroll. Yeah. Uh, I got a 1, a 12, and a 15. 1. Okay, you find a scroll of Agonizar Scorcher. Sweet. Uh, you find a scroll of Fireball. Nice. Oh, fun. Uh, and awesome. you find it. What was the last one you rolled? 15. You find a scroll of Mordenkainen's Faithful Hound. Huh. Oh. That's what you find. Can okay. I also roll for scrolls? Um, roll you, for I'll scrolls. take the first two, and he, his was the, the strongest. You also find a couple bottles of wine Ooh. that look very nice. Um, you find a couple bottles of Razor Vine Divine mm. uh, that are like extremely good uh, Razor vine grape scrolls or, or wine bottles. Fine vintage. Yes, you find a couple of fine vintage. Great. Very good. Yoink. All right. Let's, let's return here, though. <laughs> Sometime. <laughs> and take one. Grab everything. Okay. <clears throat> All right. What are you doing? I guess we'll go mm-hmm. past the Romeo. Uh, you step outside and you see. Yeah. <laughs> You see two, I'm, try- <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just gonna use these dudes, cause why not? Doesn't matter. Uh, you see two goblins on the ground. Let me see if I get this right. You see two, they look like teenage goblins. So they're e- even smaller. They're like two feet tall each. And it looks like they have a board in front of them and they have dice. Oh. <laughs> Are they playing like backgammon or? Uh, you like hear one of them. Dungeons and Dragons. They have like little models of us. <laughs> they they have little they have little models of one looks like you and one oh, looks like that's your amazing. <laughs> and one of the goblins goes, um, okay, so um okay. Alright, so Hatrick comes up to you. And he cast, he cast bless on you. <laughs> he says something about his, his his ex-wife, and then he cries. What do I what do I roll for crying? 
uh, and the other goblins just starts talking to him. And they look at you and they're like, oh, hi. Uh, I walk up and I, and I, and I ask them, hi. Um, uh, what would you recommend your party do next? Uh, they go, what? Uh, oh, oh my God, you're him. You're him, aren't you? Who am I? <laughs> you're, you're Grammaticus. Yeah. We've heard stories about you. What kind of stories have you heard? Like good and bad. <laughs> <laughs> like awesome stories. Like oh. you casting Ray of Frost and like freezing stuff and shit. It's really rad. Do you want to play? We're playing ghouls and graves. <laughs> <laughs> what did you hear about me? What? What did you hear about me? They were really sad. <laughs> oh my God. That you're dealing with inner turmoil and stuff. That's true. It like hurts your charisma mod or whatever. <laughs> uh, I asked, uh, do you guys have any, uh, I, I know you've been playing my character. Uh, do you have any advice for how I can kind of up my game as an adventure? I mean, like, it'd be cool if like you learn the rules or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I think about it and I'm like, nah, that's <laughs> <laughs> uh, And then the goblins look at each other and they're like, this place is kind of lame, right? It was like a junkyard. It's thought it'd be cool, but it's not. Let's go back to that castle. Yeah, let's go to that fort. Let's play, let's play ghouls and graves in a fort. I go, wait, how old are you? What? How old are you? I mean, That's like, a bad question. No, I just want to know how old you are. Guys, this isn't good. I know I say a lot of weird stuff all the time, and I'm kind of awkward. But I just, how old are you guys? Oh my God, it's just like his character. <laughs> <laughs> like, super awkward around kids. Patrick, stop crying. You're guys, freaking I was gonna give him a bottle of wine, but I don't want to give it to him if he's under age. <laughs> give him a bottle of wine. Why not? The kids are having fun. You know what? Kids, here, take the wine. I don't care what you're doing. Oh my God, the old man gave his booze. <laughs> run, run. <laughs> They oh, no. take off. They See, take guys, off. That's how you be nice. That's how you give back. <laughs> they, we, they may come back and help us in, in the future. You never know. You we gave, you gave booze to, to teenage goblins. Well, I don't know what their age is. <laughs> I was trying to ask them, and they made it weird. <laughs> well, is it weird to ask kids what their is, ages are? It kind of is. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. All this I, for one, am glad that we took I just messed up again. Did I, guys, I messed up again. Actually, you know, honestly, to be honest, we also contributed to the delinquency of minors like two adventures ago. Yeah, so, so it's okay. Okay, good. That's kind of what we do as a yeah, party. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I tried to give kids mushrooms one time. See, we're, okay, we're bad at So you guys just gave me a bunch of shit and then now told me that you did the same thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, okay, yeah. got basically, it. Basically, basically. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Hey, Next yeah. time you'll get the, you'll get the warning. Okay. Uh, they leave behind their game. It's called Ghouls and Graves. Huh. Uh, it's like, it's, it's, it's a strange TTRPG game where like, it's high fantasy. Mm. But everything's a zombie apocalypse. I don't know. It's one of those. Aww. Whatever. The teenagers love it right now. Seriously, it's a waste of time, man. Come <laughs> on, well, yeah. You be outside. I'm, and I'm like, yeah, it's a total waste of time. Yeah. And I'm like boxing it up. <laughs> <laughs> this, I'm just going to, I don't want to litter. Yeah, so I'm just right, going to, yeah. okay, yeah. Yeah. okay. I have my little figure. Uh, what do you do? Um, Can we proceed? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's a business. So we think, like, According to the rug, everything like is going down in this next. Theoretically, yeah. What do you do? Right. Oh, do you ask the rug? Someone's head. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he says, "Like, is that where Bonkling probably is?" Uh, he, it, one of the tassels like goes up your leg and just kind of grabs you, and he says, uh, "It's time for you to die, <laughs> to feel the sweet embrace of death." I'm okay. sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, in there, uh, it is it's the way it's programmed. Uh, in there, there is um, uh, his workshop with Foxtrot. Uh, Epsilon will make you drinks. Foxtrot will forge you whatever you wish to forge, but something has tempered with them, so be careful. Mm. Cool. Okay. Sweet. I think I want to use, I mean, I feel like we know exactly what's in the room, but I have a new thing that I can see through walls once per short rest. You, do you want to use it? What do you want to use? Uh, should I look and see what's in there? You can sure. definitely do yeah. this. Hell yeah, let me run. Okay, one second. That's you kind of the perfect. You look through the walls. Yeah. One second. Okay. Normally, stuff just kind of jumps out at us. So the yeah. fact that you can look through a wall right now is helpful. <laughs> mm. Okay. All right. Um, you see. That. That's a big token. That is a big token. <laughs> <laughs> I see a big token. <laughs> okay. Is there ever a good big token? No. No. I once worked for a company called Big Token. Mm. 
Were they good? It was just a ripoff of the word Bitcoin. It was the opposite of Bit. <laughs> it's it's pretty much the you whole guys had deal. The greatest idea. They ran out of money. <laughs> <laughs> I ever had a friend that story. I ever had a friend tell the me end. one time he was talking about like he's making fun of startups. He, he was calling them stupid money. I'm like, yeah. He's like, no, no, no. We like stupid money because they hire us. And mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Stupid money keeps the machine going, man. Yep. Okay. Mm. Mm. Is that like a device? Are those like those like those Super Mario chomper ball things? It kind of looks like that. Kind of looks oh, like that. Wow. How does. about that? They have like time right jumps. I <laughs> 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 take out my uh, mustache and. Little <laughs> <laughs> we'll hat. Firewall. Jeez, the electrics. Good job, man. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. Sweet. <laughs> so now we know where we're gonna die. This <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Let's see how we're gonna die. Yeah. 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 Like a cyclops. We can think about it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice crawl pull. <laughs> um. Put something down here. One second. Okay. Okay. The main workshop area lies before you as you're staring through the wall. Uh, <laughs> down the short, <laughs> down a short set of stairs to the west. Before you, there stands a strange device: an iron and wood pole chained to four spike jaws, hunting traps. Mm. So there's four of them. There's like a pole here attached to hunting traps. Um, in the workshop, you see an immense iron-plated golem named Foxtrot standing still a near, uh, standing near a burning forge, which is right here. Uh, right there. Okay, to the south, you see two walls of energy. One, whoop. No. <laughs> Dropping everything. Uh, two walls of energy. One appears to be a wall of crackling lightning, the other a searing wall of fire. Near those walls is a table with two pulsing energy devices on top. To the east of those devices is another table with an icy blue wand sitting on, sitting on top of it. Another golem, this one named Epsilon, is, uh, and dressed as a butler bartender, walks along the workshop floor. That's what you see. Okay. Uh, sorry, you don't see, sorry, this is different. That's not a wand on top of it. I mean, a change here. That looks like an alchemy lab. There's like potions and uh, petri dishes and strange bottles with fuming smoke coming out of them. That's what you see over there. What do you do? Can you tell us all this? Okay. Yes. Um. You see, this creature looks to be walking around with like a tray. Hmm. It looks like a little robot walking around with a tray. What was the name of the orb you stole? Uh, it was like an acronym. It's like the GMAC or whatever. <laughs> so. Well, this is like a. Fi- I have I have that same thing that you that hypnotic pattern. So we could like throw it on those dudes. The, it I might it might be us. like a magical construct though. It might not even be a creature that could be hypnotized. Oh, you know I mean? got it. Which is my guess is that it's all mechanical magical stuff. Are the are the hunting traps? Uh, are they like floating? Are they lying on the ground? There's like a, there's a pole that goes up to the to the roof, mm-hmm. and then these hunting traps are attached by chains to it. How long are the chains? Uh, I mean, uh, you can see that they're like ten to fifteen feet long. They're long chains. Yeah. Um, can I open the door? You open the door, and I'm gonna uh, do my uh, blade song thing. You do your blade. You do your blade song. Cool. Yeah. Uh, can I just? So these like, are stairs down. Those are stairs down so to like the workshop floor. So we just kind of need to get pa- Yeah. Like, but does it look like the chains are even far enough to get to us? It looks like it's not moving, and it looks like they're not far enough to get to you. Oh, okay. Um, What's going on? Can I on just, with you? just as an experiment, I'm gonna try to like cartwheel, flippity do acrobatics <laughs> to the stairs. You ca- cartwheel, jump <laughs> way <to> the top. <laughs> <laughs> Jump flip here as you land on the front step of the top of stairs. Uh-huh. 
You oh. hit a trap. Oh, damn. Uh, Jesus. Uh, and the, oh. the entire workshop just <laughs> starts to spring to life. This thing starts to spin. Uh, the golem like comes on, and starts to like re. He starts to reforge. Uh, and uh, you hear, like, all over some loudspeakers, you hear, um, uh, <laughs> you hear, one second, sorry. Uh, you hear Wonkledink Workshop Home Defense Network online. Oh, I, <laughs> I start yelling, Bonkledink, Bonkledink! <laughs> everybody, everybody roll initiative. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Good oh, God. Oh, Lord. I, I roll like Good Lord. crap. So glad that you saw everything for us, Nims. Yeah, yeah, so we didn't have to. Right to uh, traps or... Hello, what'd yeah. you get? 16. Cool. Nim? Six. Cool. Graham? Five. Great. Oh. Patrick? 15. Great. Okay. I run a different system for myself. I'll go here. It's ominous. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go here and I'll go here. When he says he's running a different system, mm -hmm. I think he means that we're surprised. No, 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 it's not like that. Oh, okay, it's cool. something different. Okay. <laughs> right. gotcha. He uh, calls us the max damage system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're good. Uh, it is this thing's turn. This thing spins and throws a bear trap at you. Oh, wonderful. That sucks. Ele oh my god, it's a nat 20? Oh, what? I'm rolling them tonight, guys. What the Holy heck? I am god. rolling them tonight. Uh, your movement is halved as a bear trap snaps onto your thighs Jeez. and hits you for uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points of damage. I'm looking through the door and I'm like, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought we thought were just peeking. What did you do? What was that, what was that cartwheel? Is it bad? I hate it, man. Uh, and then, LL, it is your turn now. What do you do? Your movement is right. halved. Your movement is halved while this thing is on you. So you can good. try and get it off somehow. Um, so. The the golems are they like aggressive as well, or are they just doing their you thing? You see that one is just panging away at the at the the forge, and that one looks like it's turning to you with its tray. That's what you see. <laughs> it's gonna throw acid in my face. <laughs> what <do> you do? <laughs> oh my god! Why? Why what do you do? I've done this. Why? <laughs> Cartwheel it in. Cartwheel it in. You can take an action to try and remove the bear trap on the weird mechanical bear trap that's slapped on your thigh. I deserve to wear the bear trap. Okay. So I'm just gonna limp. You see, you see, these these two things are tables. The rest is just floor space. Okay, so I'm gonna limp in this direction. Okay. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Uh, uh, cunning action. Dash! Five. <laughs> Ten. Fifteen. <laughs> um, just blood. In the middle of the room, we're like, what are you doing? Come this way! Uh, I'm gonna take out the, the device from the bedroom. Uh-huh. And, uh, cover the... Fire this, it conduit. takes an action to use it. it takes an action totally, to use. totally. I'll cover the fire conduit. You, you have an action left? Yeah, I haven't used an action. Okay, Just my okay. movement and a bonus cutting action. You cover the fire one and you click it on. Yeah. You. It starts very slowly to start to close up on this thing. Hmm. It looks like it has three rounds to close up on it. Okay. Hmm. You can see hazily through this, through the wall. Um, you can't quite make it out, but you can see that there's a gear. There's lots of gears. And you see like a little bit of blood coming underneath the wall right there. Mm. The okay. wall of light. Mm. <laughs> um, okay. It is now, one second. Uh, you see a foxtrot there. Um, I will say you are three. Oh my God. Oh, give, me, <laughs> give me a dexterity saving throw, please. <laughs> All of it. Give me a dexterity saving throw. I'm still good at this. Oh, hells yeah. That's like a 30. Get out of my face. Uh, <laughs> you see Foxtrot, like there's a back burner on this thing, mm -hmm. and <laughs> flame jets shoot out of the back of it and come towards you. Uh, that is, you make the save, so do you have evasion? No, I will never have evasion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Six, seven, eight, you only take four points of fire damage. Okay. As it burns you. Uh, and 
Uh, what did you, uh, Patrick, it's now your turn. What you got, Patrick? Okay, so I am going to step. Okay, I am going to do, can I do this? Can I throw 60, is, is that allow like 60 feet for me? Can I throw a shield of fate on him? Uh, yeah. From that fair, so let me do that. Is it? Is it That's a, a bonus. Is okay. It? Yes. You throw a shield of fate on, yes. on, okay, hello. Yeah, so you got plus, plus two, two AC. AC, yeah. Scroll. And then I will. All time high he's, con- he's concentrating on that, give me a concentration. I, I, I roll it? No, he's oh. giving, she's giving you a concentration. Oh, got it. What and, you got? And then, um, and then what I'll do is with my, I'll just, I'll bless us three with. More bless. More bless, Oh, you yeah. can't do that. That's a concentration. You're oh, concentrate. okay. You're already concentrated. Um, those things are pretty wild. Can I just, you have to attack them one at a time, I'm guessing? Like a meat shield there? What do you want to do? Uh, I will. This be- thing is spinning like crazy. You see these bear traps spinning along this pole. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, and if I run if I run past it, they're gonna hit me because that's an opportunity attack. If I try to run to, towards them. Uh, I will say no, it doesn't look like a creature. Okay. What do you wanna do? Got it, So, I, but I can make it past them without getting hit. Yeah, that's okay. right. So I will go, let's see here, let's run to the door. Run. 25, 30, I will go here. I'll just kind of start running in the middle, facing those dudes. Um, and then uh, that's really all I can do. I don't really have any. Else. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's it for me. Uh, Epsilon comes up to you right there, 10 feet, but it goes right up to you. Uh, and it, it has its tray and it says, uh, one second, it says, hello, sir. Would you like acid? <laughs> I knew he was acid. Beer? <laughs> or pipe? Or hot piping oil? Uh, is it non-alcoholic beer? <laughs> <laughs> I yelled at the door, Dad, Dad! Sorry, I'm, <laughs> Epsilon, I'm trying to slow down. <laughs> and I, and I'll, I'll say beer. I think, <laughs> I'm gonna go with your first response. Okay, all right. Uh, it says, you selected acid. Okay. And like, <laughs> acid like pours into this cup. Okay. And there's like bubbling acid in the cup. It says, enjoy your acid, sir. Oh. Sweet. All right. You grab it? I grab it. You grab it. You, there's mm-hmm. like bubbling green acid popping in this frothing like metal t- uh, jug it gave you. Yeah, I'll grab it. Okay, you have it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is that your turn? Okay. Uh, it is now, um, you hear, and uh, you hear coming from the floor, so these are not spiders, but like right there, right there, and right there come five foot squares of spikes that shoot up out of the ground. <laughs> And you hear that you hear the spike speak, and then they say, "Stealth stabberoos activated," oh, and they go back in the ground, and you don't see them. Uh, I don't like that at all. Mm. <laughs> That's what you see. Um, uh, it is uh, Nim's turn. Nim, what you got? This thing didn't do anything. Uh, it it does not. It burned, it, it burned me on its turn. Oh, okay. It looked like it accidentally burned him, like flame just shot out its back okay. directly where he was. <laughs> oh, well, fine. Okay, these guys don't seem hostile at all, so. But I can get, okay, so we can get down here, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Is that fine, or am I going to get attacked by this thing? That thing is spinning above you right now, oh, so okay, yeah, you're great. good. Okay, so, um, uh, maybe I'll dash and try to inspect this stuff. Okay. Could I do that? Yes, of course. Um, investigation, right? Uh, give me investigation. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> That's a four. That's a net. Is that a net one? That's a net one. one. That's a net one. Uh, you fall onto the alchemy table and <laughs> smash. Oh God! With your. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> With your head, you smash the bottle and it explodes. I told you I'm not that smart. Yeah. And I'm like, did you guys drink the wine or something? You got cartwheeling. You guys are. You did it. No. <laughs> uh, there's like a little, a little okay. domino effect of like a whole bunch of uh, potions blow up, and not all of them. Just a couple potions okay. pop and blow up. Oh, okay. Well, all of the healing potions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all the best. Oh, stuff. Very good. Very very good. Um, it's amazing. What do you do? There's more potions there. Is that your turn? Yeah, I mean that's. I guess that's it. But okay. it, I can't grab any potions or anything. Investigating was the. You thing. can you can grab random potions if you want. Do you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Should I? 
that. Do that, sure. I'll you grab, grab a couple of potions. You grab, uh, roll me 2d4. Two ones. Great. You grab two random untested potions. Great. Oh, nice. That's two what you random have. potions. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> now this shit's going down, and then just starts taking bottles of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the priorities like, here with this I group are insane. To, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I'm trying to be helpful. <laughs> our, our klepto instincts. I know, right? You, you guys go just start stealing just something. Start I'll, I'll get some. <laughs> Oh, well. uh, it is uh, layer five, but uh, you hear uh, buzz saw boys activated uh, and saw things come out, Alyssa. Yeah. Uh, uh, like jagged saws. Quick question: Do you still play? You still like bug right? Yeah, I do. Jagged, I, jagged okay. saws come out of the oh, walls good. there, and they are attempting to, to cut you. Okay. Uh, alchemy defense activated. Roll me a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh. Okay. Don't get decapitated. Dexterity. I'm not that good at dexterity. I rolled a nat one again. Oh Wait, my did you God. even scream? Yes. <laughs> roll a nat. Roll a nat. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna use that. Roll yeah, that nice nice that 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 yeah. There you go. There we go. 16, 16 plus. That's going to make it. Okay. So you take, uh, instead of taking, what did I roll? I rolled terrible. Seven, 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 you take three slashing damage. Oh, great. Okay. Not so bad. Could have been, could no, be a whole uh, lot yeah, worse. Yeah, I guess I didn't need to use that to show him in but it's okay. Uh, Yay, it worked. Thank kinda, you. Those go back in the wall, uh, but it looks like, yeah, those go back in the wall right there. If I. I can, can I try to say something in Bonkoing's voice? What do you say? To, it's a free action. To um, <laughs> just like deactivate defense, whatever. Uh, what, what did it say when it turned on? It said like activating. Defense. It said Wonkle Dink Workshop Home Defense Network online. Home Defense Network offline. <laughs> That's what you say. That's what I say. Uh, roll me a persuasion check, please. Do I have bonus because I'm Bonkle Dink? Yeah, I'll give you advantage. Roll me. Roll in the tower. This is a big one. Okay, wait, not this time. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> what did you get? We had regular Two inspiration from last time. Can you I use my regular inspiration? Yes, you use that. Roll it, roll both of those again. Burn it at all. Burn it all. Yeah, yeah, do it. That's what it's here for. Come on. Love it. It's the best thing ever. Okay, okay. 10 plus, okay. Um, this is persuasion? Yeah. 9, 10, 20. Okay, um, you hear the you hear the buzz saw boys? The uh, buzz saw boy goes, oh man, going offline. <laughs> 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 and like you hear a fetch it, and those saw boys are, are deactivated. Oh, great. Sweet, sweet. Uh, cool. Um, you, uh, okay. Back to the, no, at Graham. Graham, what you got? What are you doing, Graham? Uh, let's see, what can I do? Um, oh, uh, I, uh, can I come through the door and just hop down this way? You hop down there, yeah. It's like, it's like 10 feet down, but you can slide down there, yeah, it's fine. Okay, uh, and I walk over to the, uh, to the butler guy and have him shoulder. <laughs> uh, he turns to you and goes, hey, uh, he'll turn you on in his next turn. Uh, that's your turn? Uh, let's see. You want to do anything else? Um, I guess, can I do like a, uh, a perception check uh, in general for the room? Um, give me a perception investigation. Yeah, totally. Let's see. Uh, what are you looking for exactly? Uh, I'm looking for um, things like levers, uh, you know, levers, a cap switch, switch or things that, I can, things that I can interact with. Gotcha. Give me, yeah, roll, go ahead. Uh, 14. Fourteen. Uh, you, as you're looking for things to interact with, you do see that oh, there. Quick question. Yeah. Perception or investigation? Either one. Okay. Uh, well, if I'm rolling perception, then it's uh, sixteen. <laughs> okay, sixteen. Yeah. Uh, you see that the energy fluctuations of this ball right there match the lightning, and this one matches the fire. But that's that's as much as I can give you. You see uh, that. There's a nim size indent on that table there where head hits. <laughs> so I basically, I have eyeballs Sorry, and I'm looking through them. I mean, there's nothing crazy for you to, uh, okay. yeah, okay. yeah, okay. yeah, that's what you see. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, um, uh, Grandma's your turn, back to, no, sorry, a, 
you hear something say, uh, Stealth Pitorama activated. And a pit trap opens up right here, right next to you, Nim. Oh, Lord. And you see spikes at the bottom of oh, it. Oh, God. Uh, and then as soon as it, you see, like, crazy spikes down the bottom of this thing. And as soon as it opens, it goes, Stealth activated. And then disappears. Okay. Okay. That's what you say. Uh, back to the top, Min. That's me. That's me. Okay. The bear trap shoots at somebody. Um, oh, it is alive. I mean, it, yeah, it just keeps shooting. Yeah. Uh, what was, uh, <laughs> sorry, it's going for it. <laughs> it's okay, I got a fresh leg. <laughs> That is a 20 to hit you, buddy. Oh, no man. way, man. My AC's super jacked right now. All right. <laughs> Shield of fate <laughs> and the blades <laughs> on. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's off. Uh, cool. Um, uh, you hear Foxtrot begin to sing. He's like, time to forge. Join the forge. <laughs> Bang! It's time to forge. Getting it done with the forge. <laughs> uh, what, when, is, when is it forging? Uh, it looks like it's forging a short sword. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, what I know do you, what I want to do. Uh, LL, it's your turn. What do you do? Uh, I jump up on this table. Uh huh. And then I use an action to take the bear trap out of my leg. Give me a acrobatics or athletics check. Try and squeeze this thing off. That's pretty bad, but it's still like an 18. Uh, 18 will do it. Yeah, you rip this thing off. You take uh, four points of, of uh, ne necrotic damage. Totally. Uh, as this thing, as your blood is pouring out, ah, you squeeze off a bear trap. Um, now it's back to me. Uh, Graham, one. Nope. Flame. <laughs> Shoots out right there. <laughs> it misses you, like, but barely, just misses you. Mm. Um, uh, then it is Patrick's turn. Patrick, what you got? And can I just ask, is this firewall continuing to like flame out and degrade since it's the second turn of... Uh, it activate? is not, but this thing is slowly like closing down mm. on this thing. Okay. Uh, I have a, that cup of acid, right? Do you have a cup of acid? Yeah, yeah is this like a metal pole right here? That is a that is a metal pole, Can yes. I throw the acid at like the metal pole? You absolutely can. can. Okay. Give me Give me a, a strength check with your jug of acid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, nine? Plus what? Plus uh, your strength. Oh, sorry. No, uh, that's not. This is just a straight up strength, right? That's uh, nine total. Your strength is a plus zero? No, no. My seven, strength is a plus, plus two. two. Oh, seven plus two. You miss with your acid. Okay. Um, uh, but some of it hits, and it looks like it's starting to corrode. If you try it again, maybe it would work. Yeah. The same, so the second, the second your acid, attack. Your basically? acid's gone. Oh, <laughs> I should have tried it again. Oh. I yeah. imagine you just toss yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it missed it. Okay. Yeah, basically. Uh, you can try again. Um, Patrick, that's your turn. Epsilon turns to you, Graham, and says, Hello, sir. Would you like acid, beer, or hot piping oil? Acid, please. Very well. Very popular today. <laughs> <laughs> Gives you a jug of acid. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow. You're welcome. Such manners. You'll go far. Oh, young lad. <laughs> oh, can I ask it a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we. Um, but it's not your turn yet, but uh, okay, okay. We'll get. Uh, yeah, we're on your turn. You can ask a question. Okay. Um, it is. Um, uh, where are we at? Sorry, I'm losing my place. Oh, um, Graham. Uh, stealth stabberoos. Spikes come up from underneath you. Give me a dexterity saving throw, please. I like that. Uh, eight. That's going to hit you full force. All these oh. things stab in your feet. You take seven points of damage. Ouch. I like that. Seven points? Yeah, seven points. Um, and that's all. Yeah, those are the. That's the only one close to you. Cool, cool. I uh, that was the one. Buzzsaw boys can't do anything. <laughs> uh, Nim, your turn. What you got? Okay, I want to come over here. Yeah. Uh, um, Working on the vault, hi, yes. Could you actually improve a weapon for me? Would you like painful obliteration, little one? Or would you like me to reforge an item? Reforge an item? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very well. Most people pick that. <laughs> uh, what, what are you asking him to do? I want him to improve my glaive. 
Uh, okay. What is your glaive? Plus two plus glaive. Plus two glaive. Okay. Uh, it's it kind of takes the item that it's working on and it says it says crap I come anyway, <laughs> terrible form, and it it takes your glaive and starts to reforge it. Cool. Nice. Uh, cool. Um, you see that he started. He just takes your glaive and starts to like add adamantine to it. Mm. Oh. To the blade. Sweet. Cool. Uh, cool. That's gonna take him a while. Okay. But he takes your weapon. Oh, fair enough. Uh, that's your turn. It is Graham's turn. Uh, all right, I'm gonna jump up onto this table here. Yes. Um, and uh, I'm going to move forward and I'm going to, uh, oh, uh, I'm gonna toss my acid at the, uh, the whirling pole thing. Give me a strength check. Uh, 21. Right. You hit it directly on it. Uh, unfortunately, this thing goes wild now. I need you to roll. <laughs> I mean, you break the thing, but now m- traps fly off. Okay. So roll me a D100. Okay. In, in the DM Desi Tower. Oh, in town. <laughs> and it won't kill all of us unless you like crit with this. If you roll really low, if you roll low, it's bad. What'd you get? What'd I get? Ooh, uh, 12, 12. That's a 12. Okay, so this is going to possibly hit some of you. Um, Graham, it'll be on you as a trap flies in your direction. That's a 22 to hit you, buddy. Nope. You block it? What's your AC? 23. Oh, oh <laughs> You block it. One's coming to you, Patrick. Here it comes. Uh, that's a 21 to hit you. Oh, that does hit me. That one slaps onto your knee. Uh, that one hits you. You take... Um, you take 11 Wait, points. Can I cast shield in my Yeah. You cast shield? That. Yeah. You cast shield. You block it away. This thing is now gone. Can I uh, also ask my question to the butler? Um, y- uh, <laughs> yes, what do you want to ask him? Uh, yeah, how, how do I deactivate your safety protocols? Uh, Epsilon looks at you. Uh, Epsilon says, I offer acid beer <laughs> and piping hot oil. <laughs> that is my purpose. However, something has tampered with the security system. I know nothing else. <laughs> Define something. Uh, uh, I know nothing <laughs> else. <laughs> give me a, give me a Romy persuasion. Romy okay. persuasion. Twelve. You okay? Yeah, it just says it doesn't. doesn't sorry, it does nothing. Um, give me uh, whose turn is it now, Graham? It's your turn. Back to the top. No, uh, the 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 you hear stealth pitorama, and this pit opens up right there, having not moved. It says stealth activated. Mister Bunkowink, can we talk about my effective? <laughs> And then it, it goes back to being still. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is back to the top men. Uh, that's me, men. I, I say men, and I think it's your sister now. Yeah, but it's me, not your sister. Yeah, I know. I'm like, oh, she's here? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate <laughs> naming device. Uh, Are you enjoying my magical short sword? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're three. No. <laughs> fire. <laughs> Shoots out a fox trot. Um, LL, it's your turn. Is the firewall gone yet? Uh, this thing is starting to close. It looks like it's going to be closed next round. What do you got? I don't know what to do with anything, honestly. I mean, there's a shelf full of uh, potions over there. That I thought it was like obliterated, the yep. shelf full of potions. It's still by the blades and by Nim's head. And <laughs> the, the blades are going to be activated. Sorry. So there's a shelf. We got to watch out for that stealth thing. There's still some potions on there. If you want to try and grab some. Sure, sure, why not? I'll hop off the table into relative danger and uh, try to carefully search what's left of the Give shelf. me an Arcana or a Perception Investigation. Oh, they're both pretty good. Not 20. Wow. Way. Okay, you All find... All the potions. You find, these potions are not, are, are not... They're not labeled, but you can still identify a potion of heroism, Ooh. a potion of greater healing, and a potion of... Um, what's the other one? Sorry, one second. Uh, potion of cold resistance. Nice. Sweet. Mm. 
Thank you, you very fine. much. Do you want to go back on the table? Yes. Yes, I do. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. It is now Patrick's turn. No, sorry. Yes, Patrick, your turn. All right. Um, but we're still in, like, we're still fighting, right? We're still in, something's happening. Things, I mean, still dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to turn to the, to the little robot guy. Uh-huh. And I'm like, what do you, what do you drink? No one's ever <laughs> asked me that before. Do you like oh. oil? <laughs> I make acid, beer, or piping hot oil. Well, do you like piping hot oil to drink? I've... Here, never. I'll, I'll take some oil then. <laughs> pour me a cup of oil. It pours you a, 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 a gem. And I like hand. Pie. I'm like here, like drink. <laughs> we have an advantage for <laughs> <laughs> I hope this doesn't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your crowns. Uh, <laughs> what was the persuasion you said? Uh, that's uh, oh, eighteen plus uh, twenty-one. Uh, it, it, it says bottoms up. <laughs> oh my god, please don't die. <laughs> la la la. It drinks and like it starts to melt. I think it's hot oil. Oh. And I'm like, it how is it? How does it taste good? It says the pain. <laughs> oh the no. Pain. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I thought you would like it. Like, this is the, a house like of the horrors. Like this is man. terrifying. I'm suffering. It's just, it's oh all I feel is pain. I'm so sorry. It just crumples down Does it to taste a metal. good at all? Oh. It, you, it, this thing crumples down to a metal heap. Oh, no. Oh. I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry, Ryan. That oh, guys. I really thought. <laughs> sorry, guys. I thought that could go bad, and I did it, it did again, go guys. bad. <laughs> I think we've all had our turn at bungling something in this Yeah. Uh, I went face first into the potions. Yeah. You killed a little guy. A little bartender. I, I set off a about. trap in a pre-scouted room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His first moment this of happiness. His first moment of happiness. Has it not been three turns of this thing? Uh, it's about to be. Oh, it okay. is about to be. Patrick, that is your turn. Uh, it is now the the stealth stabberoos. Patrick, give me a dex dirty save. I think this is it, everybody. Yeah. Uh, eight. You fail, you take, oof, uh, eight points of, of piercing damage to your feet. Mm-hmm. Uh, the stealth stabber will stab you and they go, we're gone. <laughs> stealth back. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, at the end of this, if you guys do nothing else, I'm thinking the stealth piddle-rama opens up again. It says, <laughs> uh, stealth piddle-rama activated. I can't move, Bunkle <laughs> I'm not threatening <laughs> anything. Uh, and then it <laughs> closes up again. Uh, at the top of the round, this thing closes, and this firewall drops. Nice. Uh, on the inside of this room, you see... One second. Look at this. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, a study for gear work lies here, with gears and bolts of all types scattered everywhere. Two sentry gear firing ballistas are strapped to corners of the room. A smoking contraption full of lights and tubes sits in the largest gear. Finally, a bronze and mithril golem stands in the corner braced against the door. You also see Bonkawink right there. So you see like gears all over the plate. I can't draw gears for crap. Well, that's good. A uh, whole bunch of gears everywhere. Yeah, gears all over the place. And then you see a golem over here. I'll just use this. There's a mithril and bronze looking golem. And you see Blancoink right looks right there and he's bleeding out. Oh. What do you do? No. Um Can I it. can I just go feed him the uh, the greater healing potion that I just picked up? You you rush down and feed him the greater healing potion. Awesome. Um, you do so. Let's take that, there we go. Uh, he, he, you pour down a start, he goes, what? what? What's happened? Uh, oh, uh, everything's gone upsy daisies. And he clicks and hits a bunch of buttons on. He says, home security facilitator, home defense deactivate, full stop. 
Full stop deactivation. And I'm like, full stop. That's what it was. <laughs> wow, so close. You guys. So close. I was pretty close. We were yeah. offline. Yeah. It worked for one of the things. Uh, <laughs> uh, you find Bonk and Wink, uh, and he, uh, he says, oh, thank you. You saved my life. <sighs> All right. Let's go save the multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that'll be it. You guys get, he will give you this golem, essentially. Um, this is now, one second. Uh, hold on, I have it here. Uh, yes, you have Delta. This is now Delta, and he holds what appears to be some sort of uh, mithril-like great axe. And he says, let's go chop down, Abankwink says, let's go chop down a tree. Let's, guess, let's go do it. What do you say? Let's find that beacon. If ever, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll end it there. Yeah, good work, everybody. Uh, that is why. that is not a milestone. It's not a level, but um, uh, but we're getting there. We're getting That's to all the last level. Breakfast and like, can we please listen to me? Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is so hungry. <laughs> so you get your glaive becomes adamantine. What does that do? Uh, it means that like stone golems or, or golems basically that are. At least my rules. Anything that's like iron golem or worse, you do full damage to, cool. as opposed to half damage. Huh. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, nice, Ursine. Congratulations on your win there. Awesome. Thank you for really just We got some good. To the end and like, Bonkowinks like it was me all along. Oh yeah. <laughs> my god. Bonkowinks. Just Liam. Oh, it's just Liam Crowell the whole time. It's yeah. me. Of course it is. <laughs> Say it's called a long con. Uh, all right, that'll do for tonight. Uh, I'm DM Tozy. This is what I do. I DM for a living. It's a whole blast. It's a. It's an absolute blast. I love it. Uh, Sigillian Milliner is uh, Ursine One. Congratulations, John, on your win. Uh, hand out those those Sigillians. They help out. They help out with people. So hand them out. Um, uh, Alyssa, you used all your stuff tonight? Yeah, you used all your stuff. Great. Great, great, great. Uh, Wednesday, I think this Wednesday I'm going to, I mean, I'll, I'll play War Within, but I'm also going to be chatting about the new rules, and we'll talk about, like, the classes that I think are, there's, there's just a lot of improvements to the game, so we'll be talking about the improvements to the game, we'll be talking about 2024, um, the rule set, and what I think is working. Uh, if you are one of my players, just know we're going... And with these guys, we're going full, uh, we're, we're restricting it to only the new rules. We're not doing backwards compatible to do, to do the extended rules. Because I, I find that people are just using the extended rules. So we're just going to go strictly with the new stuff. And I want to see how that works. I want to see, see how it works. Uh, Thursday, we'll pick up our new our 17th session of Thursday's Crew Tomb of Annihilation at 5.30 p.m. Pacific. Uh, and we'll get a raid going, if possible, so stick around. Planescapers will be back next Monday. Uh, and thanks again for joining us. Peace out. Peace out, everybody. All right. Oh, well, thanks, thanks, thanks for, thanks for playing with us, Ryan. Yeah. yeah. I need to add that in and say thank you. Um.